Hey Saggies! Happy Monday! I know I keep saying that, but I like I always forget that most people really don't like Mondays, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so this is your weekly love reading for September 17th to the 24th. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, please don't forget to drop a like, and please also don't forget to comment. I welcome constructive commentary. Please keep it appropriate, please keep it BC. Um, I want to keep these videos great for you guys, so please, 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 constructive criticism is very, very welcome. Uh, below you can find my information for the Twitter account to follow, where I'll be putting updates for any readings I'll be doing, or any of my videos <clears throat> in the near future. I also have an email address if you would like a free reading. I take three a week. Uh, please look at the about section of the channel for directions. I think I also put it in, e in the description of the videos. Um, so yeah, please feel free to email me if you want a free reading. If you would like to make a donation, by all means, please do so through my Venmo account. I do not answer questions for money, so please don't ask me a question when you make a donation. Just type the word donation, <coughs> ah, and it'll be much appreciated. Thank you. All right, so let's get started, Saggies. September 17th to the 24th. Oh, so I just did Leo and Aries. Leo's was a little rough. So I'm still shaking off that energy. But, you know, you're, you guys are feeling pretty strong, actually. It's like, I'm feeling very grounded, tapping in your guys' energy. Hmm. Also some new love I'm sensing. Or maybe new realizations of love. Realizing you might love somebody. Just saying. Just want to pick it up. Okay, September 17th to the 24th, my Sag is in love. Any messages for my Saggies in love for September 17th to the 24th? Yeah, I guess feel really strong right now. Very sturdy. Mm. Any messages for my Saggies in love? Let's see what we got. Hmm. What's going on, Sages? <laughs> you mad? Someone piss you off? <laughs> That's what it seems like. Wow. Okay, so it seems like someone cut some communication. Um, usually Queen of Swords is a air sign or water sign, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, or you could be dealing <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Um, either way, it feels like communication was cut off because someone was a little upset. Uh, the underlying energy, eight of pentacles in reverse. Someone's not putting in the work. Is that what happened? Did you cut someone off because they weren't giving you enough or trying hard enough? Kind of what it feels like. Uh, let's clarify this eight of pentacles in reverse. Please clarify the eight of pentacles in reverse for my Sagittarius's in love for September 17th to the 24th. Please clarify this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Oh my god, so many cards. Okay, so I won't read all of the ten that just fell out as a clump, but I will read these two that flew out together. <clears throat> Overall energy. Eight of Wands. Forward movement. Maybe even possible travel. Hmm. But not putting in the work, so um, let's see. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you also have the Seven of Wands and Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. This is interesting. So I think this cutting of the person out, for some of you, it feels like it's past. Like, you're, you're done cutting this person out because I feel, I feel like, like I'm, I'm being propelled almost. Like, you're being pulled towards this person. Like, you want to be talking with this person or doing doing something with this person. You want to be doing something with this person. That's what I'm getting here. The seven of wands <clears throat> typically means like standing up for what you want, standing up for your defenses. I'm using the witch's tarot deck. If you guys are curious, you can get it on Amazon or wherever. It's a good deck to have. Um, but in this deck, it's more indicative of someone who's taking on a challenge, a welcome challenge. Hmm. But it feels good. Like, the energy behind this, I feel like this is you, Saggies. I feel like you're taking on a challenge, but you're excited about it. You're excited about it. And there's forward movement involved in this. And again, possible travel, maybe with the person you're connecting with. And we'll tap into that soon. But you know what I noticed about this card that I really love about this card? So you see 
the red ribbons here and there's two side by side definitely indicative of partnership maybe moving forward with a partner you want to move forward with someone you want to move forward with someone move forward with someone sorry again if you have never watched my videos for those of you who are cross watching all my videos I apologize I'm so repetitive I just want to make sure everyone kind of understands how I how I work in my readings um, when I say something repetitive like that it's because my, my guides are nudging me they're nudging me <laughs> right now like right now <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so you want to move forward with someone, but it's a challenge. But you're excited about it. I feel excitement. I think you guys had a period of where you cut this person out or you wanted to cut this person out because you felt like they weren't putting in enough work. And they might be distracted. They might be distracted. We'll look into that. So with the also with the Seven of Wands, this welcoming of the challenge, you have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So... I think that just refers more to like you felt like they weren't putting in the work, right? I mean, it's pentacles with pentacles, both in reverse. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat chakra is all kinds of fucked up right now. So you felt like they weren't putting in the work, and you felt like you were you weren't gonna get this like this stable abundance with them. And like you see how there's a family. Oh, let me put it upright so you, know, you guys don't break your necks trying to look at it. Let that focus. Focus. Oh, see how there's a family there? It's like, you know, there's an older man looking over the baby, and there's such a happy couple in the background. Look at that couple. Actually, yeah, let's focus on that. Look how happy they look. She looks really excited. Um, but it's in reverse, so I feel like you, you were, you're feeling like this is... There's a chance you might not have this with this person anymore, but you want to try. You want to try, and, and you're excited to try. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling a little, like giddy and, and and like ready like ready you know ready to rumble a little bit <clears throat> so let's look at your partner in this because you're clearly ready and you're clearly wanting to put in work and you're clearly having that drive and passion for whoever you're connecting with but let's see who your how your partner's feeling uh let's take a look at sage's partner for september 17th to the 24th let's take a look at sage's partner september 17th to the 24th hmm just saw your card with the lovers in reverse. But let's keep it going, yeah? <clears throat> Please show me Sag's partner, September 17th to the 24th. Sag's partner, September 17th to the 24th. Sag's partner, September 17th to the 24th. Let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see who's got you feeling so good and excited, even though... Even though... <coughs> Someone doesn't want me to talk about this. Mm. <clears throat> like that's how it felt. I felt like my throat just like instantly tried to close. <clears throat> okay, so look at your partner, par partner, your partner, Sagis. Mm. Overall energy. Eight of Swords in reverse. So, oh, sorry. I know I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys all the cards. There were just quite a few that came out, and I think I'm understanding what's. I think I get what's going on here. Oh, so the reason that your partner hasn't been putting in a lot of work, they they're coming out of some past pain. And it seems like it's from another relationship. So the person you're dealing with, we have the chariot card here. You could be dealing with a cancer. We also have two kings that came up for your partner. We got the king of pentacles and the king of cups. Kings are air energy. So like, you know, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, this is obviously Earth, right? So Taurus, uh, <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> uh, why am I blinking right now? Virgo. Wow. I guess the Virgo energy is really lacking here. Yeah, I guess it would be. It doesn't feel very Virgo-y at all. Uh, water, uh, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. But I feel like these are energies that your partner's been dealing with. You, your partner also has the nine, nine of Pentacles. Your partner also has two of Cups in reverse, with the five of Cups in reverse. Okay, Sagis, so you're dealing with someone... Who has some recent heartbreak. 
And I mean recent. Like, so recent it could have been yesterday recent. Um, but they're trying to come out of it. They're trying to come out of it because I, I definitely feel like they care for you a lot. Like, I feel like there's a lot of really great forward movement towards you. Like, here, actually, let's show you guys these cards here. Sorry for the camera work. So if you see that, you know, you can see there's all these amazing cards here, right? It's like very, it's like positive, positive, forward movement, forward movement. And this is your energy, forward movement, forward movement. It's like almost like you guys are subconsciously working towards forward movement with each other without really talking about it. Especially because whoever you're dealing with is, is still trying to pull themselves out of this energy. This two of cups in reverse with uh, five of cups. They feel like they lost something in this, in whoever they were dealing with before. <clears throat> whoever they were dealing with before, it feels like it was a possible soulmate for them. That went. <laughs> okay, your partner does not want me to talk about this. I don't think your partner wants you to know this. Mm. Um, at least whoever you're connecting with does not want me to talk about this. That's definitely how it feels. Like, because I don't think they've communicated this to you at all. Like, if you're, if this isn't resonating with you, I am not surprised because I think they've been keeping this a secret, to be honest. Like, that's how it feels. It feels almost like, like hidden. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. I think you're definitely dealing with someone who has a lot of water in their chart, or, you know, you might have a wa have water in your chart, Sag. But I feel like you're definitely dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's got some earth. That's how it's feeling. You're feeling. You're dealing with a water sign that has a lot of earth in their chart. Doesn't have to apply, but that's just what I'm feeling for the major collective here. I feel like they're taking on the Nine of Pentacles energy, you know, because they're coming out of this sadness. And yeah, they're still feeling this loss a little bit, but you see the Two of Cups there? If it'll, if it'll freaking focus. They're, they're almost looking, their eyes are closed, but they're facing that direction of the Two of Cups. And I think, you know, I feel like it's a new Two of Cups. It's not this Two of Cups. It's not, yeah, it's not this Two of Cups. It's not this Two of Cups. This Two of Cups is attached <clears throat> to all these spilled glasses, all that spilt milk that that mermaid's crying over. That's this Two of Cups. That's the old news. But they're trying to look to that new Two of Cups. So you guys, you guys might be soulmates, just saying. Soulmates and... When I say soulmates, I think everyone kind of misunderstands what that means, right? Or like, don't you only get one? <laughs> no, we have a lot. <laughs> no, I, I would say, you know, anywhere between like 10 to 20 for the average person per lifetime. Um, you know, you can look into that further. I don't want to make this a whole like soulmate Q&A. Uh, but I definitely feel like they are trying to get over an old soulmate because they recognize that they have you, a new soulmate, in their life. And they're definitely really quickly kind of moving into this nine of pentacles energy nine of pentacles abundance and, and like almost of the self like it's it's you're kind of giving them self-confidence is what it feels like it feels like you really boost their confidence like look at the swagger she has look at the swagger she has in that picture again not it doesn't have to be gender specific whatever resonates with you and all this could be vice versa maybe your partner is doing this for you and you're getting over a past soulmate because you're recognizing you have a soulmate right um, but yeah, she's, she's got some swagger, she's got some pep in her stuff, like, you're, you're making your partner, or whoever you're connecting with, feel really good here. Um, hmm. Just, just felt like a wave of warmth come over me. Wow. Some of you guys are feeling some amazing stuff here. Now, this King of C Pentacles and King of Cups energy, I feel like this is relating more to the person that she was connecting with. I keep saying she, it's just because, you know, it's a female in the Sun of Pentacles, so I'm just reading it as, like, as I feel the cards and imagery. Again, not gender-specific, can be vice versa, I take what resonates. So, this person that she was connecting with, this previous soulmate here, heavy air energy, they could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be water or earth too, but I'm feeling it's more of an air sign that your partner was dealing with. And you know, I hate to say it, but for some of you, a small percentage of you, this past soulmate might still be around. 
your partner or whoever you're connecting with. Small percentage of you, small percentage of you. For them, like, I mean, look, <laughs> gone by, <laughs> by, like, <coughs> a lot of these cards are, Jesus. I'm gonna talk about it. Like, I just wanna yell at your partner. I'm gonna talk about this, so just shut up. <laughs> That's really what it feels like. It feels like external energy is like, is saying like, stop, like, shut up. Don't talk about this. They can't, they're not supposed to know about this. They really wanna keep this a secret for some reason. Um, and maybe it's because, you know, they're trying really hard to get past it and they're not quite past it yet, but they don't want you to, you know, feel, feel weird about it, probably is what I'm guessing. Um, this person they were dealing with, air they almost feel a little there's a sense of like control i hear i keep hearing the word domineering 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 either they were domineering with their past partner or their past partner was domineering towards them i feel like it was more the latter situation for most of you but be careful i mean you know be careful sometimes an ex is an ex for a reason and sometimes it's not the ex's fault if you know what i'm saying but this chariot card Again, you could be dealing with the Cancer. I feel lots of water going on here. You might be dealing with a water sign. Forward movement, moving towards, moving towards you. And for those of for those of you dealing with someone who still has this ex pseudo pseudo ex soulmate hanging around, you see how these horses are different colors. <clears throat> it's about forward movement, but in different directions. Like you see, this one is is black and like looking up towards the sky this one's white and kind of going off like down this way so they're your partner's moving forward but maybe for a small percentage of you they haven't decided with who you know exes are exes but exes come back exes have a bad way of coming back like ants they just like <laughs> I don't know why I just had a visual of ants. I don't know if some of you were dealing with an ant problem. It just like I just had a flash of um I just had a flash of like a, a tan counter, like almost not quite marble like, but definitely tan in color, and I just like saw like like a, a you know, a line of ants going towards the sink and like a little bit of um a cluster on the other side of the sink and the sink is white. Um so I don't know if that resonates with some of you, but that's just <laughs> if you have an ant problem Cinnamon works really well. Um, even just wiping the counters down with water and soap, that actually is really good because that gets rid of the smell after you kill them so more ants don't come back. Um, vinegar, lemon juice, those are good ones too. Uh, if, especially if, you know, <clears throat> you run an organic household, um, a neuronatural household, or if you have pets, you know, it's, it's all pet friendly. It's not going to hurt your cats or dogs or anything. Anyway. Someone needed advice on ants. I could just feel it. Sorry. So for some of you, they haven't quite made their choice is what it feels like. I know that really sucks to hear, but that's a small percentage of you. For the major collective, they're moving towards you with this awesome Nine of Pentacles energy because you make them feel so amazing and they're putting these feelings in the past behind them and they're moving forward to you and you are <laughs> sorry and you are welcoming this challenge you're welcoming it you're like all right you want to move forward all right let's do it let's do it let's make it happen i like that it's very like driven very driven sages but you're you're sagittarius says you're always driven right of course you are i am a little curious about this little past situation of non-communication so we're going to look into that um, especially for those of you where it's like, it's kind of resonating, but not really. Let's look a little bit further, or if you want to, if your partner cut you out, communication-wise, if you want to know why they did. Let's find out. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. I mean, it's relating to lack of work, but I feel like that's more for the Sagittarius's who cut their person out momentarily. But let's just check this out. Please clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse for my Sagittarius's in love for September 17th to the 24th. Please clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse for my Sagittarius is in love. Please clarify. Please clarify Queen of Swords in reverse for my Sagittarius is in love. Queen of Swords in reverse. Please clarify Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. Overall energy that same damn card again. 
<laughs> Eight of Swords in Reverse. Uh, so to clarify the Queen of Swords in Reverse, we have the High Priestess, this is Intuition, and Nine of Wands in Reverse. Nine of Wands in Reverse. So, someone had a little insight, a little intuition. Maybe you were a little intuitive. Maybe your partner is a little intuitive. Whoever, whoever cut the communication had a moment of realization um, about their partner. And it's not clear what it is. And I'll try to clarify this further. But it's relating to this Nine of Wands energy. So Nine of Wands upright <clears throat> is about forward movement. It's about putting that stake in the ground and getting to that final destination, getting to the 10, right, from the 1 to the 10. Or ace to the 10, right? Does it, same thing, same difference. That's what it is upright. And you see, like, all that sun behind her. It's like, it's a very glorious card. But it's in reverse. It's in reverse. So I think whoever cut the communication realized that their partner, whoever they're connecting with, wasn't putting that stake in the ground wasn't gonna wasn't um going to try but now they want to try why didn't they want to try let's find that out and it's still the same card that they that your partner was feeling right so this is definitely your partner it's because your partner didn't want to try why didn't your partner want to try um what's the nine of wands in reverse please clarify the nine of wands in reverse Please clarify. Oh, okay, well, that just wants to stay out, so we'll keep that out. Um, I'll show you what it is after I'm done. Nine of Wands in reverse. Why didn't the partner want to try? Hangman in reverse, overall energy for your partner when not wanting to try. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Sorry to break it to you, Sages. It's just confirming what I said before about um, your partner kind of having these feelings, right? Like, having it's hard to get over this heartbreak. Well, now I see why. So, the reason they couldn't try. They have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse with the Hangman in reverse. With the Hangman in reverse. So they were they were really struggling with this and they really wanted to try, but they couldn't because they had a very heavy air presence. Remember I said before, I feel like whoever your partner was dealing with or their ex or whatever, heavy air energy, whoever they were dealing with before came back in their life I feel like it was like XX like like a very on and off relationship is what it feels like but a very like strong like very like you're whoever you're connecting with feels very strongly connected and I guess that makes sense with the two of cups they were they were soulmates I feel like that kind of confirms that as well um and especially with this hangman in reverse so I feel like they were together and there was a, a break of some kind, you know, things happen. But then this person came back, came back into their life. And I think with an offer. Um, but they were, they're, sorry, your partner's partner, Jesus. I know this is getting a little confusing. So the person you were connecting with, the person you were connecting with, this Nine of Pentacles energy that does feel really excited. They do. They do, Sages. They feel really excited about you. Um... They didn't want to try initially, and this is probably what, and this is probably why you cut communication with them. I feel like you cut communication with them. I don't feel like it was vice versa. I feel more so you cut communication with them because you realize you had some intuition, and your gut was telling you they're, they they don't want this. They don't want to try. Why don't they want to try? They don't want to try because a soulmate that they had that they were together with at one point um, was feeling stuck and became unstuck and came into their life and tried to become the king and maybe he was very egotistical almost 
a lot of narcissistic energy going on. I've been sensing narcissists on a lot of reads lately. Uh, and I know, like, what everyone says, there's more narcissists now than there ever were. And maybe that is true. But with this, I'm definitely feeling narcissistic tendencies, selfish, egotistical, poor communication. Because then these were reversed. Poor communication, and then your partner left. Your partner left. Your partner left. Sorry. So that's the deal, Saggies. You're connecting with a really awesome person. You're connecting with a potential soulmate. And they do want to move forward with you. For some of you, they still haven't decided because this butthole is still hanging around. For some of you. Small percentage, not for most of you. Um, and around the time, you know, and you guys were talking, getting to know each other, making stuff happen. And I think they... For some, for some of you, they came back while you were learn, like, getting to know this person. They came back while you were getting to know this person. But they broke it off. The person you're connecting with broke it off with them. That's definitely what I'm sensing. It's like there is no communication here. Nothing. And especially with this of how great that your person's feeling. And it's like they're, this feels like they're trying so hard to put it behind them. They're trying. It's like they're looking at that new two of cups and they're like, okay, I want that. I want that. I want to move towards that. I want to move towards that, towards the person that makes me feel so amazing and so good. Um, yeah, guys. I, I wouldn't be worried about it except for those who are dealing with someone who hasn't chosen yet. And unfortunately, they probably haven't told you about this. So, I don't know how you feel about that. Let's get some advice for you for that, actually. For those Sagittarius's that are dealing with partners who haven't decided, what advice do you have? For September 17th to the 24th, for Sagittarius who have partners who haven't decided, any advice, any advice, any advice? Okay. Hmm. So overall energy is hope. Have hope. Okay. Have hope. And look on your memories of love with each other. Look on your memories of love. And you see that six? Six? This card is... Um, very close to the Six of Cups in the Tarot, so you are definitely dealing with a, with a soulmate. You're dealing with someone you've had a past life with. Um, that's what it feels like to me. And you do have this Mental Conflict card, and that's the two. There's a choice. That's the choice. Um, so, I suggest you focus on being optimistic and hopeful and put some reassurance in the, those memories of love that you have with that person. Have some reassurance in the universe that, you know, they're bringing you this soulmate because you needed a new soulmate if, you know, again, if it was a vice versa situation, or they needed a soulmate. That's how the universe works. You get rid of one, you get someone new. Get rid of the old, get something new. That's just how the universe works when you have good karma on your side and you take care of shit. Um, and this mental conflict that your partner is, is, is going through, just... Be there. Keep doing you and keep being there and keep being loving. Keep, you know, keep reinforcing these memories of love. If they've, if you guys have been talking for a while, keep reinforcing that with them. You know, make, if they're really having that much trouble remembering, I mean, make them remember. You get what I'm saying? Make them remember. Remind them. Remind, oh, remind me. Remind me. Oh, that song is going in my head. Um, who sings that song? Sometimes my guides will give me messages through music. I'm hearing that song. Um, How you remind me. Um, so on fire, so in love. Look in your eyes when... Yeah, it's um, Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley. Remind, remind me. Remind them. Remind them. And I have a feeling things will work out for you. Uh, we're also going to do, for the general collective, uh, advice on love. We're going to do the Romance Angel Oracle deck. I love this deck. Love, love, love. Love. Oh, God, now, <laughs> now I'm hearing all you need is love. Okay. Okay, guys. I got it. <laughs> 
Why is it not focusing? Oh, there it goes. All right. Any messages? <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes, sometimes they they send me silly things. All you need is love. Yeah, I guess that's true. To some extent. I mean. I don't know, there's a whole lot more in love, right? <laughs> than love. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, Sagittarius. I'm just making myself laugh. Any messages of love for my Sagittarius's <clears throat> for the week of September 17th to the 24th? Any messages of love for my Sagittarius's from the week of September 17th to the 24th? Any messages of love for my Sagittarius's Ooh. for the week of September 17th to the 24th regarding love? Why don't you to come together? Come on. They were fighting me. Don't fight it. All you need is love. And you just need to remind them. Just need to remind them. Maybe some of you there's distance too. Like with that eight of wands when I was saying travel, I'm realizing now, um, I just saw a plane, my mind's eye. So maybe you guys are long distance. Maybe that's why they need reminding because you're not always there, right? It makes sense. Okay. Whew. Let's see here. Sorry, they like flew right at me. <laughs> I'll show them to you. It's just, it's a really good card. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sages. Okay. Prepare yourselves. So the overlying, overlying, underlying energy is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mm. Yeah, that card, that card feels real nice. Um, like, look just how they're embraced. Just look at that. Like, literally just, just sweeping her off her feet. And then we have the chemistry card. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And last but not least, we got the wedding card. This situation involves marriage. I think with the wedding card, I mean, take take that with a grain of salt. I mean, uh, you know, that could just even mean long term partnership is kind of what I'm picking up for most of you. You know, marriage is marriage is a funny thing, especially these days, and especially with how people do weddings now. Um, I don't sense it's like it's an actual wedding. Some of you might even be going to a wedding together. Um, but I, for, for a smallest percentage of you, I think you already know you want to marry this person. I think you already know. And I think that's why you're so excited for the challenge to move forward with them. I think I think that's why, because you already know. You already know that you found your person. Because the chemistry and passion is just off the charts. Like, even just touching these cards, I can I can feel it. I can feel the pull that you guys... And like, you see, I'm like, I keep wanting to move forward. I can feel how pulled you are to this person. Um... So I usually don't take a lot from the bottom for um, overlying energy. 